What's up, YouTube fam? It's your girl, Mona, back with another episode of Vibing with Mona. Welcome if this is your first time vibing with us, and if not, welcome back, fam. Every woman's success should be an inspiration to another. We're strongest when we cheer each other on. I say that to say, behind every successful woman is a tribe of other successful women who has her back. And with that being said, let's vibe. Per usual, do not forget to smash that like button, comment, and subscribe if you have not done so already. I definitely appreciate you guys for always showing me love. Also, do not forget to turn on those notifications so you are aware every time I post a new video. Public service announcement. I do not own the rights to any instrumentals that you guys hear playing in the background of any of my videos. I am strictly using them for video purposes only. So today is another beautiful day. So once again, I am out on my patio enjoying this beautiful weather and it's nice y'all <laughs> i don't know where you guys are all tuning in from but i hope your weather is as beautiful as mine but let's go ahead and get into it so if you guys are new here the quote at the beginning is always the main topic of my video and today we are talking about women empowerment so the narrative of women not being able to work with each other has been kind of true for a very long time it's like that because most of us were conditioned to believe that we have to compete with each other. Seeing a woman in a place of authority should not be seen as a threat to anyone, but most importantly, it shouldn't be seen as a threat from other women. Women already have it tougher than men as is when it comes to things such as getting promotions and even down to securing contracts. The best thing that we can do is to empower each other to be better and to step up and take charge. Think about the way it made you guys feel when Kamala Harris was voted into office. She became the first female, the first black female, the first Asian American female vice president in history. I don't know about y'all, but that did something to my spirit. Now, I'm sure there were times where she probably wanted to give up on it all, but she didn't allow herself to stop or be overshadowed by the individuals that did not want her in that position. I'm also sure she had one hell of a tribe standing behind her, uplifting her when she felt like walking away. That's what we must do as well to see ourselves and the women around us succeed in life. James Brown said that this is a man's world, <laughs> but we are here to change that narrative. So of course I have you guys covered with ways to empower other women and even empower yourself. You can start by passing the mic. And this means to just step back and allow someone else to be in the spotlight. There may be another woman who has more knowledge about a certain issue or situation than you do. Allow them to speak up and provide their expertise and then you back them up. And that's another thing that we don't have in this world and that's women backing up other women. We have to be better. If we work together, we can get so much more done. You can also invest in women-run businesses. Men are twice as likely to raise more money than women in certain fields or industries. And when I'm speaking on that, I'm more so referring to the trucking industry. We all know this to be predominantly a male field. But now you have a lot of women who are stepping into that field, whether they're driving trucks or whether they're owning their own trucking company where they have their own trucks and they're probably even dispatching their own trucks. So they're stepping out into that field as well, but they may not get the same opportunities as some of the men because it's strictly ran by a woman. So you definitely want to make sure you go out of your way to support businesses that are owned and or ran by women. There are also some really great grant opportunities that have been started solely for women wanting to step out into this entrepreneurial world. So I would definitely do a short video on this as well in case some of you are looking for this information but don't know quite where to start. I got you. Another way is to not get competitive with other women. Like this one is huge. 
Dimming someone else's light does not make yours shine brighter. Should I say it again? Dimming someone else's light does not make yours shine brighter. Now this one speaks volumes all on its own. Once again, we can be so much more successful if we just come together. Let's also make it a habit to support mothers dealing with rowdy kids in public. We, and myself included, are so quick to give someone the side eye when their child is acting up in public. In our minds, and sometimes out loud, we're thinking she needs to learn how to control her child. But in her mind, she may be going insane because she doesn't know what else to do at this point. There was a video of a random woman helping another mom of two young kids. So this woman had two kids. One was a toddler and the other was an infant. Uh, and the infant was crying. I believe the toddler was throwing a tantrum. And instead of standing on the sidelines making comments or judging, another woman, a complete stranger, decided to step in and help her out. That was the best act of kindness I have ever seen. She picked up the toddler, consoled the toddler, and told the mom, finish grocery shopping, your child will be okay, I got him, I got you, like, and she helped her out. I, I thought that was so dope, and it's moments like that that we should broadcast instead of when women just snap, because there are so many other things that lead up to a certain reaction. We have to break the narrative that women are always so angry because that is definitely not true. There are many more ways to empower women. I could be here on this topic all day, but I won't. There is an article from 2019 that provides a list of things you can do to empower other women as well as empowering yourself. We have to stick together. There is power in collective action and in community. We need to be more revved up and connected to each other now more than ever. Women are a powerful force alone, but we are all more powerful when we're united in sisterhood. I want to thank you guys for taking the time out to vibe with me today. Until next time, practice self-care, stay humble, and positive vibes only. Thank you for vibing with Mona. Na, 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 na. Stop.